Hello everyone, time to start a new Let's Play. Comic Zone for the Sega Genesis. As always, this video is brought to you guys by GameAnyone.com. Seriously, why haven't you checked them out yet? Anyway, as I said, this is Comic Zone for the Sega Genesis. We're just going to go ahead and start, get right into it. New York City, present day. This game is such a classic. This is kind of like Vector Man and a lot of those other games that are always on the, um, those like Sega collection packs just because, I mean, it's so damn awesome. Um, it's kind of like a precursor to, uh, Beautiful Joe, if you guys remember that on the GameCube where you were in the movie. Uh, this one you're trapped in a comic book. So basically, this big bad guy that is one of your drawings comes to life and throws you into your comic book so then here you are you're in your comic book so uh you pick up some items and uh all the characters talk to each other comic style like that like you know you talk in your bubbles uh you could jump you punch you have a bunch of combinations and uh attacks you could do and then you could select your items uh the bomb blows stuff up the knife is pretty much a free one hit insta kill and the uh, the energy drink um heals you so as you can see, most of the uh, the bad guys are drawn in, which is kind of cool. So I'm just going to sit here and beat the shit out of this guy. And, uh, you know, if you can't tell, uh, it does a lot of the comic book style-esque, like, whack and pow and thud and, you know, like, the little noises that you would see on a, uh, on a comic book, which is kind of cool. Because other than this, I don't know any other game that has taken this, uh, concept. Like I said, other than maybe Beautiful Joe, but on that one you're technically in a movie, but you know. That's a damn good game too. Alright, he's dead. And then, uh, there's a lot of branching paths in this game. Let's go, uh, down, I guess. You know, you turn into the next panel of the thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and waste the knife so I can pick this up. Alright, that is a kind of like a, uh, a super power fist where it kills everything on the screen. Oh, and that's the rat. Here, I'll, I'll show you the bomb. Wh what the rat does is he'll go around and help you fight people, and then he'll also rip corners of the pages out on certain uh, screens, and uh, he could get you items that are hidden, which is kind of cool. I'll try to show you once I find a room that I remember there being a secret room there. Oh god, there's two of them. Uh, I've only beaten this game maybe once or twice, because towards the end it kind of gets hard. So let's see if we can do it. There we go. They're dead. Go down here. And I know I mostly always bitch about sewer levels in games, because they're always the worst, but I mean, you know, it's not really a level because it's only two panels. Ah, come on, die, you straggly guy. I don't remember your name. But it's kind of cool on how all the enemies have different personalities and stuff. See, so yeah, and even on the top left, later. Alright, so what you have to do is push this thing, jump up, turn the lever on, and then fall down. And uh, if I break this box, because it has this warning symbol on it, it'll blow up. But it, you could look down and you see that there's fire, so... That clears both of them out. Like, even if I, um just fell down, the fire would have hurt me. So let's see if the rat can find something for me in here. No, he can't. Okay, whatever. Suddenly. And, uh, this is one of those games where you have one life. So if I fall down, that's it. Alright, I'm gonna make sure that these creep things don't <coughs> hurt me. Uh, is that it? There we go. So that's the end of the first half of the level. Like, there's only three levels in the game, but they each have two different parts. So here we go. Um, I think this is the part where you can see the rat find something. See? So he found a bomb, which is helpful for opening this damn door. Oh god. Oh! I hit myself. I don't want to kill my rat. Damn it. Oh well. And if you punch the moving blades, they hurt you. Okay, hold on. These things spit out little monsters or something. They're like eggs. So you just gotta kill them before they uh, 
they do that. I'll cut here, motherfucker. And uh, if you knock an enemy into the fan, it pretty much it's an insta kill. Alright, so here, I'm gonna use my heal. And then I'm gonna drop the rat, and then I'll show you how he works. See, he can go over there, hit the switch, and turn the fan off, which is pretty damn cool. And then I get to sit here and pound on the fan and break it. Uh, this is, you know, take a guess what you gotta do, right? And yeah, the puzzles on this game aren't, you know, exactly uh, difficult or anything. They're pretty simple. Uh, let's see. Damn it. These eggs are so annoying, by the way. You know, how trippy does that have to be? Fighting, like, the own creatures that you created. Uh, now, if you break that box, there's a bomb in there, or you could use it to jump up here, which I don't remember what's up here, so I guess I could try it out. Wow, so there's that guy just camping the, the ground. Oh, dude, screw you, dude. Most of the enemies on here are not really difficult. Well, they kind of get a little difficulter. Difficulter. They get tougher on the second level. There we go. You could either break those or you could. You just have to stop them at the right time. Or you could break them and then the game eventually just lets you move on. I guess it feels bad for you. Uh, these are those little monsters that the eggs were going to lay. Drop a bomb just to use it. Ah, oh, boo, I did it too early. Anyway, th these are different uh, little weird liquid creatures, and if, if you let them stay out long enough, they turn into different enemies. Like the red guy that I've been fighting and all that, so... Uh, it's actually kind of good to just kill him instantly. Alright, we're almost done with the first level, damn. Um, alright. Oh, he's blocking all my attacks. Uh-oh, no. At least I think they change it to stuff. Maybe that's only if you grab him or something. I, I don't remember. Alright. So, we, one more room left. The boss. Now you could actually sit here and try to fight this dragon bitch, or you could do this. Here, I'll try to show you. Just hurt it enough, run past it, and jump over this barrel. He'll light it on fire, and then just push it to the dragon, and then, you know, there. <laughs> and, uh, boss fight over. Here, this is what that super fist does. It just blows everything up on the screen, even though I don't think that insta kill kills bosses, of course. Man, what a trip. And uh, so that's the first episode of uh, Comic Zone. Uh, stick around on the next episode where we head to uh, episode 2, Welcome to the Temple. Stick around, guys.